I'm an addict for snitches. Welcome to a brand new episode. Before we get into it, make sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe if you're new, and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. It lets YouTube know it is okay for them to notify you when I upload a new video. This way you don't miss out on future content. I've been requested this for so long to do a video, how to lace these amazing classic Puma suede shoes. You gotta get up close and actually look at the shoe before we lace them up. It's only right. You've got amazing suede on these. I call these the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's what I call them. That's what I nickname this colorway. And I love them. I absolutely love them. I think that this is a timeless classic right here. And I highly recommend that everyone owns at least one pair to their arsenal when it comes to any kind of sneaker, a low cut, the Puma suede is a must have. So with that said, let's lace these bad boys up. So of course first we're gonna put the first lace in. Always make sure that this is flat all the way through. And make sure that the height is exactly the same. It's very important you make sure the height is the same. Now it doesn't have to be super tight on this. When you throw it on your foot, then you can tighten them up, you know, but right now, keep it loose. This way it's easy to just toss on your feet and get it right. Now the next thing, a lot of people will go under here and pull out. Me, I never do that. I always go over. That's the whole thing. That's how your boy DJ Dells laces his shoes. Always go over. Never go under this right here. Always thread over. And once again, you can keep it loose right here. You don't have to make it so tight. When you throw them on your feet, then you can tighten everything up. See how I went over? Now do the same. Just keep going all the way up. Over, over, over. Make sure that the lace is sitting flat. If you gotta do a little turn action, you see how I just did that on this one? Make sure it's always flat all the way. Now you see I made a oopsie. This over. This is under that lace, so I gotta redo that. Put it under there, and then put it in. See how we got the pattern the same? That's going over, that's going over these two laces. Very important you do that. You want the pattern to stay the same, or else it's not gonna look fresh. Gotta make sure it's straight and flat. And try to always throw your laces to the side when you're done doing it. You gotta turn it a little. Pull it out, turn, and then pull it back in. Pull it out, turn, and then pull it back in. I get it so it's flat. Pull and guide with your other finger. See? And there you go, look at that. I mean, how fresh does that look, right? Way better than the standard way they lace them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you have not thumbs it up, please do so. And also, subscribe if you're new. If you want to see an on-foot look at these, I will link that in the description box below. And if you're looking for these shoes, I will put that in the description box below also. As far as the fit, I recommend going true to size on these kicks. Go true to size and... If you have a wide foot, I still recommend going true to size. If you have a real narrow foot, you may even want to go down half a size. I highly recommend them. They come in so many different flavors, so many different colors. The black colorway is nice. All white is nice. They got them in everything you can think of. Purple, yellow, so many different colorways. So definitely check them all out. Let me know what your favorite pair of Pumas is. Personally, this goes up there in the books. is one of the best. All right, I haven't done a new Funko Pop chase hunting vlog in a while we're at hot topic they got kurt cobain king dice mm -hmm.
Ooh, he scored. Sick. At Top Topics, now we are at FYE. Let's see if they got anything here. Whoa! Yes! We're doing good today. Found Jack. Black Panther. This is crazy. I've never seen so many chases in one store. Wow, Razor Ramon. Unbelievable. So many chases here. I've never seen nothing like this. This pop is so sick. Dude, this is crazy. This is crazy right here. I've never seen nothing like this ever. Four chases, one store. All right, so we are home and I just can't believe all the crazy Funko Pop chases that I scored today. I can't believe that I had the luck that I had today. This is definitely going down as far as with me, the greatest ever Funko Pop Chase Hunt. So first, we scored at Hot Topic. And you see what we got here? We got the Cup Head King Dice Chase. And I never thought I was going to get this one. This is pretty sought after, but I lucked out. I was at the right place at the right time, and I just cannot believe I lucked out on it. So this was the first chase I scored today. And by the way, I did get Sasha. If you didn't see that video from the other day, check out that video. I highly recommend you getting Sasha, the Walker Sasha. And speaking of The Walking Dead, I got Daryl Dixon in his prison outfit, prisoner outfit, when Negan, man, just abused this poor man. Hit that thumbs up button for Daryl. I mean, he was going through it, man. I felt so bad with the Easy Street. That was the only thing I really loved about it, that Easy Street song. I love that song. Don't judge me, but I play it sometimes. <laughs> but this is an amazing, amazing Funko Pop, and I recommend it. I will link that in the description box below. They had tons of them at FYE. Tons and tons of them. Definitely try to get one. When I went to FYE, the first thing I noticed was there was a Black Panther chase. And here is a Black Panther chase. Now, there's a lot to this story. This is not the one I bought. I actually passed this on to someone else at the store who was looking for a Black Panther chase. I already had one. I actually have two, to be honest with you. I don't need a third one. I was going to buy it for trade bait because I'm not going to leave a chase in the wild when I could buy it and use it to make a trade. So I had that in my hands, and I ran into this dude, man. He was like the Funko Pop Angel, the Funko Pop Chase Angel. I won't say his name. I don't know if he wants to be shouted out like that, but I'll tell you. He looks at me, he's on the ground going through boxes, and he goes, man, I just found three chases. I don't want them. Are you looking for a Razor Ramon? I'm like, yes, because I already have a Razor Ramon up top over there in the corner, but I want another one to take out the box and put on my dashboard in my truck. So I definitely wanted the Razor Ramon, like a secondary one. So they're not available for trades, like either or, but I did get the Razor Ramon from FYE. And I did not get the Black Panther because he needed a Black Panther. Why would I not hook him up since he just like totally hooked me up? He helped me look for him. He's like, there's one here. Let me help you. There's one there. I mean, really an awesome guy. And um, it's cool because I collect sneakers and I have experiences like this with sneakers, but never with Funko Pops where... There's people just showing love for the same thing that we love, like this passion for these Funko Pops, these vinyl figures. So I really respected that he showed love like that. So, like, I had to hook him up with um, this one right here. Well, not this physical one, but the Black Panther. Now, he also was like, okay, well, you know, there's The Rock. And at first I wasn't going to get him, but, you know, I was listening to my friend Don Tony... And 
He has a podcast. It's actually Don Tony and Kevin Castle. And um, Don Tony has a solo show, This Week in Wrestling History. And he was talking so much about The Rock. And it was the anniversary this week with John Cena when he came back to WWE. And he was totally roasting John Cena. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this one because I just, I was listening to that podcast. Make sure if you're a fan of wrestling to check out the Don Tony and Kevin Castle show. And they're on iTunes. They're all over the place. Check out the Don Tony and Kevin Castle show. I was listening to that and it just, I, I enjoy listening to that show so much because I'm a big wrestling fan. So when they were talking about it, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get myself another rock. So I got this rock chase right here. And I also, I'm pretty sure I got myself one more chase. Where is it? Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, right here. So there's no way in hell I wasn't going to pass up on this Jack Torrance right there. So I got myself a Jack Torrance chase in 2018. I guess they have made more maybe, but I haven't heard of anyone scoring a Jack Torrance chase in a while. If you know someone that has, let me know in the comment box below. But this is an amazing Funko Pop right here, and I had to get this. There's no way in hell I was going to pass on that. So I really scored big time. Even though I didn't buy the Black Panther, think about it. One, two, three, four, five chases going to three stores today. That's incredible. And I got this amazing Daryl Dixon exclusive. I love this one. I love the Sasha one. You can get this over at Funko's website. You can get this at FYE. I will link that in the description box below. Show that love. Subscribe if you love Funko Pops. If you have that passion like we do, subscribe. Hit the little bell. Let YouTube know you'd like to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for tuning in. Smash that thumbs up. Please do show support to the channel. Leave your comments. I love reading comments. And everyone, have a great day. It's bigger, DJ bigger tells. tells It's bigger, bigger on the lot, baby Let's go. Somebody tell me what you want so cold So cold, so cold Tell me why I keep the fofo fo 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 Tell me why this world is so cold So cold, so cold Tell me why I keep the fofo fo Everywhere I